about Mitsubishi. The uh, die-hard Japanese fans, the guys that are driving the uh, 20Gs, 18Gs, 16Gs, 8cm uh, and 10cm cubed turbine housings, it's a different world to your AR.48 and things like that that you'd find in the Garrett and the Borg Warner side of, uh, of, of the turbocharger field. Today we've got once again a table full of horsepower. We have genuine Mitsubishi turbochargers ranging from direct bolt-on on the right-hand side of the table and on my left hand side, universal turbocharger that you can use to turbocharge or upgrade existing turbocharged applications. So let's start off with uh, the 170. This specific turbocharger is a direct bolt on unit for the SR20 motor, which you'd normally find in the S14, the Nissan S14 Sylvia, or uh, what we know in South Africa as the 200SX. Um, let's get this guy out of the way here. This specific turbocharger is a TDO5 18G with an 8 centimeter cubed turbine housing. It's internally gated, 360 thrust, oil cooled, this does not have water cooling. Um, it's got a high nickel content on the turbine housing and it is a beautiful piece. We're supplying these at really, really good prices. Be fast, the stock's not going to stick around for long. That is the eight centimeter cubed. We have another, another version of the exact same turbo, 25 TDO5-18G uh, with a 10 centimeter cubed turbine housing. So it's an identical package, 100% bolt on to the SR20 motor, but with a slightly larger AR on the turbine side. And obviously that is gonna give you less back pressure and a slightly higher uh, horsepower output at the end of the day, but compressor stage identical, actuators identical, turbine housing mounting faces and physical dimensions identical, uh, exhaust identical, same material spec, 360 thrust, oil cooled on both. The one has got an 8 centimeter cube, one has got a 10 centimeter cube turbine housing, T25 in, and obviously your 5 bolt out. So these are direct bolt ons for your SR20. Um, as I said, these are really really kick-ass products we have a direct bolt-on for the rb26 so a lot of the people already have uh, um, an experience or they know a lot about the bolt-on turbochargers that garrett have for the rb26 in the form of the for those that know the part numbers the 707 160 5 etc etc uh, those are ball bearing gt 2860rs this specific unit from Mitsubishi is a journal bearing version. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more affordable. Pricing is going to be a lot lower. It's oil cooled only. It does not have a water cooling port. Direct bolt on. Um, it is a TDO5 16G, and it has an 8 centimeter cubed turbine housing. Um, bolt off the old Garrett, bolt on the Mitsubishi, and off you go. It's as simple as that. The only mod that you'll have to do is take your water in and water out. Um, that you would normally run on your ball bearing turbocharger and join them together just to maintain the circulation in the engine. So there is a direct bolt on for the RB26. Same 360 thrust, same bearing system. Obviously everything in these turbochargers are not your normal standard TDO5 bearings. They are upgraded, the material specs different, the thrust bearing is a 360. There's, a, there's quite a lot going on inside these turbochargers. I'll get into that in another video. We'll disassemble one of them and show you guys. But these are the bolt ons, S14, RB26. Now we move on to the universal turbochargers. I'm going to move these over just so we can make some space for the other turbos. And we'll start off with the 5210. That is a generic turbocharger which you can use to upgrade an existing turbo setup or you can turbocharge an only aspirated engine with this guy. It's approximately a 400 horsepower capable setup. And I'm just going to get the box out of the way. And this is a TDO5 18G. Once again, internally gated. Uh, all the bells and whistles in terms of the upgraded bearing system. Uh, T25 in, 5 bolt out. And it is a universal turbocharger with an 8 centimeter cube turbine housing. You have a 
another unit over here. Let's check the bark number. Three zero. This is out of the universal turbochargers in the TDO5, TDO6 range. Uh, this is my favorite of the lot, and you'll understand why in a sec. So this is a TDO6 20G. Okay, this is a 500 horse capable turbocharger. Nice and compact, really, really small in terms of the physical dimensions. Great rotating assembly, proven over the years. Oil cooled only, no water cooling, but have a look at this. Look at how small this turbine housing is. My hand goes right around the outside of this turbine housing. It is an 8 centimeter cubed race style housing, 3 bolt in, 3 bolt out. TDO6 rotating assembly. This guy is going to spool up really, really fast, and it's great for a 500 horsepower application. You can run this turbocharger, two bar boost all day long, it's going to laugh at you, it's ultimately reliable, externally gated, no internal gate. The last guy that we have in the lineup are the universal turbos, or generic turbochargers as some of the guys call them, is an internally gated version of a TDO6 20G once again, so the same compressor stage as this guy, but internally gated. It does not include an actuator, I'll show this to you now, it is a 8 centimeter cubed turbine housing, T3 inlet, 3 bolt out, and the internal swing valve is obviously incorporated into the turbine housing, oil cooled only, 20G on the front, and you can basically put this together with a choice of actuator, we would suggest a 1.5 bar or 1.8 bar actuator, which we have in stock, universal actuators, and all you need to do is basically mount this to the turbocharger and off you go. Or some of the guys, even though they like the fact that this is a T3 footprint, which might bolt onto an existing T3, T4 that they currently have on the turbocharger on the engine, um, they'll be able to. A lot of people like to actually weld this shut and uh, convert to an external gate. The nice thing that they, uh, the reason they choose these turbochargers, even though they're welding them shut, is because they don't have to redesign a manifold. So they already have a T3 flange that bolts directly on, they just weld the actual crank close and the manifold already has an external gate on, all they've got to do is just adapt the downpipe and obviously uh, small mods for the air intake out there to the cooler etc etc. So that's basically that for today guys. We have the universal turbochargers here, TDO 620Gs, uh, internally gated, externally gated, uh, the bolt-on for, sorry, internally gated TDO 5, uh, 18G, and you've got your RB26 direct bolt-on and two SR20 uh, S14 bolt-ons, uh, one with an 8 centimeter, one with a 10 centimeter cubed. That's it. So guys, check out our Facebook page. Uh, we are letting these things go at really, really crazy prices. Uh, they're not gonna stick around. We've got about 15 pieces of each in stock. Be fast, have an awesome day, and uh, just remember, Turbo Direct always destroys Black Friday with early Christmas specials. Jump onto our Facebook page, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, thumbs down, constructive criticism, criticism is always welcome. Have an awesome day, see you next time.